Hey, good morning, everybody. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Thursday. Another beautiful morning here in paradise. I'm up at the north end of Area 4, up by our friend Roy, late wife's bench, Audrey. He had this bench right here in front of me put here in her memory. Great views there from that bench. You can see it's got a couple plaques on it that Roy had placed there. Dearest Audrey, you will always be with us. We'll always be loved. Roy's late wife. And then there's the poem that he wrote for their wedding day. A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care. A time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring, a time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day, a time for comradeship and friends, a time, a time that never ends. Beautiful. Roy wrote that for Audrey on their wedding day. They got married in Hawaii. Roy loves to sit on that bench and reflect. He's always looking for company too. So if you see him up here in area four, stop by and say hi. If he's on the bench, join him. He's here. I see his beach chair. He hasn't set it up yet. So he's out walking the beach somewhere. Let's see, do I see him? Yep, I see him down to the south of us. Way, 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 way down there. High tide's not till 10 o'clock this morning. But we'll just take a stroll up the beach, see what we find. You never know what we're gonna come across out here. Well, yesterday we got to follow a dolphin down along the beach for quite a ways, that was fun. There's a few shells here on the beach from at the high tide mark. Might find something interesting here this morning. Just never know what we're gonna come across. Every morning is something different. One of our mossy arc shells. Oh, here's something that's really cool. A twisty, we call these twisties. Inside of a conch shell, we call that a twisty. Hey, how you doing, Chris? Great. A twisty. Let's see what else we come across here as we walk slowly up the beach. Soaking in the serotonin. Another really peaceful morning out here. Boy, last weekend was just incredible how busy it was out here. President's Day weekend. There's a little white ibis all by itself over here. When the light hits their face just right, they've got beautiful blue eyes. The white ibis. You see them all over Southwest Florida, not just at the beach, you see them inland as well. They just walk up and down the beach here, probing the sand with that big orange bill. Looking for sand fleas, coquinas. I think I got him confused. He doesn't know which way he wants to go. What 
What way are you going there, bud? I'm not gonna bother you. Don't worry about me. Oh, and just behind him coming up here, it's a little snowy egret. He's looking for a fish. There you go, an ibis and an egret, a little snowy egret. All kinds of birds here along the shore. Yesterday we were watching the pelicans diving for their fish. Those are sandpipers you hear screeching. Let me get out of the, the close-up mode. That's the fastest way when you're in a live feed. Just hit the selfie and get out of the selfie quick. I don't want to punish you by looking at my face. Well, there's some mullet jumping out in front of me here. You can see the little circle in the water there, the ripples. If he jumps again. Something was chasing after him. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot a dolphin this morning. That's always a treat, always a thrill. Well, yesterday we had a nice little sighting. The water is really picking up the blue from the sky this morning. If you listen carefully. Well, there's a dolphin out here. Wow, jumping up out of the water. He's way up here, coming our way. Just offshore, right out here. Just leaped up out of the water. Try to spot him here, bear with me. See him, you can see him surfacing out here. He's coming, making his way towards us south there along the beach. See him over there? He or she, right in the center of the screen. Where are you going there? Just kind of hanging out in this area up here. Well, it looks like it's turning around and going back up the beach. Let's see what it does. No, it's heading north now. I don't know if you can see it. Where'd it go? We'll follow it up the beach. Maybe, maybe he or she'll turn around. Maybe even come back in for a close look. There, looks like it's gonna go back down the beach. There you go, there's the dolphin. It's probably the same one we saw yesterday. Where did you go? It's staying under for quite a while here. Where did it go? Whoa, now it's moving. It's way up here. Moving along fast now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with it. Might be coming in here. I see the waves. It's chasing the fish around here. Oh. Started to come in. It's on a mission here. We'll follow it down the beach as best I can. It's really trucking, moving fast. Sometimes they come in around where Roy sits.
Getting a little closer. Where'd you go? Sure, bud. I want to get a good look at you. Oh man, I put some miles on already here. Getting a good workout following this guy. You can hear him breathing when he comes up. Come on, come get in here and get a fish. Here he comes, coming towards us. Nope. Oh. Darn it. There he is splashing around here. Where did he go? It's hard to find follow these guys. They're so fast. So he got a fish. He just popped over the fish in his mouth. Which way he heads here. He's gonna keep going south. He's right out here. Woo, he just leapt up out of the water. Did you see that? So cool. Neat. Come on over here, buddy. Put on a show for us. Come closer to the beach. We want a good look at you. He's got a fish in his mouth. He's getting ready to swallow it. When he jumped up, he was just like flicking the fish around. See him out there? Boy, that was cool. Nothing like starting the day with a dolphin sighting. Now he's swimming out. Swimming further offshore. might come back in. They just make their way up and down the beach all day long. That was great. What a great start to our day. Start out by seeing a dolphin. He's pretty far out there now. He still might come in close to shore one more time. See if we can follow him down. He's way out there now. I'm gonna keep walking south down the beach. Keep an eye out there in the Gulf, see if he comes in a little closer. Beautiful morning here, beautiful morning. He's way out there now, way out there. We're down at the south end of Area 4 now. I'm just going to keep moving south. Try to keep an eye out there in the Gulf. If that dolphin comes in any closer, we'll get another look at him. Oh, might be coming in now might be coming in now where did I see him where did he go where did he go he's staying under for a while here whoop he's back here where did he go did he turn around is he gonna start heading up the beach Yep, he turned around. Looks like he might be going back up the beach. Yep. Where did he go? Where did that guy go?
There he is. It's hard keeping track of him. He's making his way back up the beach now. He came south down to area three. Now he's heading back up the beach. Gonna try and get ahead of him. I am getting a good workout following this guy up and down the beach this morning. Okay, where'd he go? Where is he? Did he stop? Where'd he? Oh, he's right over here next to me. He just slapped his tail in the water. Where is he? Where you at, buddy? Oop, now he's going back up to the beach. It's a guessing game where they're gonna pop up. Always a guessing game. You try to read the water. There he is. I think it's hard sometimes. Whoop. Stopped right here. They're going to come racing into the shore. Where did it go? There he is. Just a, just a little ahead of it. Where did you go, buddy? that dolphin there he is this is fun huh not many people watching along but so what we're having fun following this dolphin up the beach hoping to get a maybe one more close look if he comes into shore beautiful beautiful creature There he is, circling around. Where'd he go? Where did he go? See the water swirling over here, there he is. Gonna roar into shore here. Or take off. Keep going up the beach. It's moving out a little further now. Pelican flying by. Where is he gonna go? Is he gonna come up here on the beach? You just never know where these guys are gonna go. It's a big guessing game. Where are they gonna pop up next? We just hanging out right in here right now. Must be a lot of fish. Where did you go? Where did that dolphin go? Well, no shelling this morning, just following the, chasing the dolphin up the beach. Wow, he made his way all the way over here now. He's all the way up here.
almost where we started. We started up in area five and went all the way down to area three. Now we're back up in area five. Looks like he's turning around again. Yep, heading back down the beach. Same level of camera here. Now he's headed, he's out a little further offshore now. It's right straight out here in front of us. Where'd you go? Whoop. Now he's heading back up north over here. I hope you can see him. Right out here. Him or her. Pretty sure that's a male. The female is usually with the baby. Out there now. Way far out there. I'll keep an eye out there, see if it comes in closer. You can see the dolphin is way far out there right now. And it's beautiful Thursday morning here at Del Norwegian. We're up in the north end of Naples, North Naples, Florida. Beautiful Thursday morning. We're just following a dolphin up and down the beach. We're looking north now. Still keeping an eye out there on the dolphin, see if he comes in. A lot of times they'll come right up to the beach here. Morning, how are you? Isn't it? He's still out there. Pretty far offshore, that dolphin we were following. Just you never know where they're going to wind up. Way out there. What a treat though to see a dolphin in the morning. That means we're gonna have good luck when we see a dolphin in the morning. We got to see him leap up out of the water one time while we were walking earlier. Don't worry, I'll repost the video. Where did he go? disappeared on me. He is gone on, oh, there he is, out here, hanging offshore. I don't know if you can see him, a little speck out there. Maybe he'll come riding a wave in, come up to shore here. He's just going up and down the beach this morning, having a good old time. Straight out there. Now I lost him. There he is. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Looks like he's gonna head back down the beach. Let's see what he does. Yep, looks like we're gonna go back down the beach again. Here we go. Where did he go? All right, he's staying under. 
There he is out here, coming up towards us. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. How are you doing? Great. Where did he go? He's right here out in front of us somewhere. You can see the water rippling. There he is. Darn it, I thought he was gonna race up to the beach, but he didn't. Where did he go? Now he's going back up the beach. swimming out away from us. Darn it. He's way out. He's heading out. He might be back. I'm just going to keep an eye on him. Him or her. I'm almost positive that's a male. Because if it's the female, there's usually they'll have a baby with them this time of year. He made his way up here. Hey, Roy. Hey, we had another swimmer, huh? Yeah. How he's been, he's been up and down the beach all morning. I've been following up and down the beach. Oh, there was really? a good one down there. Those yeah. are two more down there. Yeah. Oh, that was was that the mama and the baby down there? Yeah. yeah. Darn it. They're really close. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Isn't it though? Boy. The dolphins are putting on a show in um, Big Carlos Basin. Uh -huh. They were on the boat there. They were like right beside the us dolphins. On the boat, yeah. The fish were jumping out of the water. They jumped out of the water. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, oh, that wow. is so neat when they jump up. Yeah. Oh, that was quite the show. Where, Where did you see us? You go out on a Big boat? Carlos Pass yesterday. Oh. We're out the boat. Where did our little dolphin friend go? I'd love to see the mama and the baby. Just never know when they're going to pop up. <laughs> it's a big guessing game. Where and when. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I don't know where he disappeared to. Looks like he swam out to sea. Oh, what a great, great, great morning. Great experience. Good exercise for me, chasing the dolphin up and down the beach this morning. We'll go check in with Roy in a little bit. See how he's doing. Maybe we'll get lucky and see the dolphin, maybe even the mama and the baby. Again. I don't know where he went. Looks like he headed out into deeper water. See the clouds starting to move in here. We're supposed to get rain this afternoon. Actually, there's like a, a mist, a haze down to the south of us. The sun's starting to go behind the clouds now. A lot of shells up here. I haven't even been looking for any shells yet. It was all about the dolphin this morning. Lots of little cockle shells on the beach. Here's a nice little cockle. I'm seeing lots of nice cockle shells on the beach this morning. There's a nice one right there. There's a little lightning whelk. Cool, I'll keep that one. There's a nice little lightning whelk right there. It was next to the cockle shell. The lightning whelk. That's a great find there. It's got a little chip in it. Yeah, I'll still keep it. So we spent probably a half hour chasing that dolphin up and down the beach this morning. That was fun. Definitely have to check that out. I hope you enjoy these beach walks.
you know, I don't get paid to come out here and do this. And just like you, I got bills piling up. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later on the video replay. What do we have down here? There are a lot of shells here at the high tide mark. A lot. There's another nice cockle shell right there. You got to have a cockle shell in your collection or it's not complete pretty on the inside inside and out they're beautiful shells the cockles what else is down here oh darn it part of a tulip I'd I haven't found a nice tulip shell in a long time there's a little piece of abandoned tulip shell right there walk really slow when you're shelling especially if you're looking you know when you want to find the little ones everybody's looking for the big shells I love finding those little those little treasures down here that line of shells just goes right up the beach here up at the north end up in area five beautiful to the north of us well, there's a nice piece of worm rock right here it's all, I always find that fascinating the worm rock so cool and eat the worm rock There's a big turkey wing shell down here. Always like showing everybody a turkey wing at least once during our beach walk. Pretty obvious why it's called a turkey wing, isn't it? check in with Roy in a little while just want to walk up to Wiggins Pass what another beautiful cockle there's cockle shells all over the beach here this morning there's another nice cockle shell great color on that one oh here's part of a crown conch my favorite shell just a piece of one though or maybe that's a welt no that's an old welt that's actually an old weathered lightning welt. You can see down on the down the inside of it. That's neat. That's an old lightning welt. Very cool. people on the beach that's always nice to see boy there are a lot of fishermen up at the pass this morning they are just lined up all the way out there out into the Gulf boy here's a huge piece of a shark eye huge that would have been a beautiful shell. That's part of a shark eye. That's the eye right there. Also called a moon shell. I'd have loved to find that one in one piece. Nice. The shark eye.
Lots of worm rock, more worm rock. There's a piece of worm rock over here. There's a big chunk of worm rock over there. Always, you always find a lot of scallops on the beach. Here's one of the black scallops that's starting to fade. You can always tell a scallop by those little wings down there at the base. The scallop shells. That's probably the shape. When everybody thinks of a seashell, that's the shape they think of. So that's your traditional look for a seashell. There's another broken, oh, there's a, darn it, it's all broken. All broken shark eyes this morning. Not any whole ones, just broken shark eyes so far. is looking north up towards Wiggins Pass. A mile of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Clouds are starting to move in here as we pan around. Supposed to rain today, 50% chance of showers this afternoon. of an old conch shell. The fighting conchs, we find a lot of those here. We find a lot of live conchs. Here's an older fighting conch shell. This one's pretty faded out. They're usually a deeper, darker, orangish brown color. The Florida fighting conch. Find them in all conditions here on the beach. There's a couple worn out ones. Now that's a whelk on the, this is an old worn out lightning whelk here. An old conch shell on the left. There we go. There's a moon shell, a shark eye. Interesting pattern on that one. Look at that one. Get a little sunlight on it. That's an interesting looking shark eye there. The stripes. Let me get some sunlight on that and I'll show it to you as I walk down the beach. We're in the shadows, the shade of the trees right now. Of course, our worm shells, the worm tips. This is the tip of a worm shell. Find a lot of these on the beach. Very common. Oh, here's a nice one. I'm gonna keep this one. This has a nice piece of the shell attached to it, the tip and the shell. That's a nice little specimen there, the worm shell. What else do we have down here? Seems like I always get lucky up here at the north end of the park when I'm doing my shelling.
There's a Murex. An old coconut Murex that was, or coconut, apple Murex that was buried in the sand. I'm gonna rinse that off, give you a look at it. I got a couple shells I wanna rinse off in my hand. There's, wow, a little baby lightning whelk. Check it out. A little tiny baby lightning whelk shell. Nice. Nice little find. Another worm tip. That's an interesting looking shape there, isn't it? A worm shell, that's kind of a wild looking shell. Another murex, part of a murex, part of an apple murex. I found some great little treasures this morning already. Oh, here's a nice murex here. Oh no, just a piece. Another piece of a murex, piece of a coconut murex, or apple. Why do I say coconut? Piece of an apple murex. Top of a tulip shell over here. Just the top of a tulip, a banded tulip shell. I gotta straighten up here. The old back gets stiff bending over there, stooping down, checking out the shells. I got a couple shells in my hand. I want to rinse the sand off them real quick. Let's see if we can find anything else neat down here. Another little shark eye. I want to rinse that off. There's a little baby conch shell. I love these little conchs. That's a little baby. A little baby fighting conch shell. fishermen lined up and that's oh nice got a nice little sand dollar there, nice little sand dollar very nice <laughs> congratulations <laughs> always make sure those sand dollars aren't alive before you take them home if they're a bright white color they're not alive anymore another little conch down here Little baby Florida fighting conch. I got a handful of little shells. I'm gonna go rinse them off here. Get the sand off them before I put them in my pocket. Beautiful water out here today. Just beautiful.
So I had in my hand there a Murex, a little baby conch, a couple worm shells. I'll show you that, that one moon shell. That was really, it's got a neat pattern on it. There's the underside of it. That's where the animal would be popping its head out. But look at the stripes on that shell. The shark eye. That's very, very cool. A neat pattern. That's the eye right there. The shark eye is what they call it. Also called a moon shell. It's a nice little find. Lots of shells along here. This is where you find the good stuff. When you come across these big piles like this, this is where you gotta take the time and look. A lot of times you're gonna find a nice shell buried in the sand here. We saw lots and lots of cockles this morning. Lots of beautiful cockles. There's a little lightning whelk. Another little baby whelk. Little tiny lightning whelk. Everybody misses the little ones. There's another part of a moon shell. Broken shark eye. Well, we found lots of broken ones this morning. Sorry if I bore you with my shelling. I just get, it's just so much fun. Here's a Murex. Another Apple Murex shell that I'll add, toss into my pocket. Another broken shark eye or moon shell. Boy, these are everywhere. Nice little Murex. Apple Murex. Little baby conch. Another worm shell. Man, lots of great little shells up here. Just gotta slow down and look. So many broken shark eyes up here. Just I have just seen oodles of them. Oodles and oodles of broken shark eyes. I don't know what that's about. Oh, here's one that's not broken, I don't think. Yeah, and there's a nice little shark eye. That makes three good ones for today. There's the tip of an olive shell. Boy, it's a moon shell morning. Wild. I gotta straighten up here. Getting old stinks. You can see this line of shells just goes right up the beach here. Keep looking, gonna look do a little more shelling and get up to the pass. Give you a look at Wiggins Pass. Then head back down and chat with Roy. Look at there. Another shark eye. I'm not kidding. It is a shark eye morning. That's four in my pocket. 
we just and we saw a ton of broken ones. A lot of broken shells. Look at this. Here's some pieces of a conch shell, the tops of a conch shell. It's kind of neat looking. I wish I could find shark's teeth like I find shells. <laughs> I guess Bill is the one that's going to be finding all the shark's teeth today. What is this? What was this? Well, part of a murex shell. Well, the shells are thinning out now. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, piece of one. Thought I was gonna get another shark eye. Just a broken one. But they're usually buried in the sand, so you really gotta look close. When they're upside down, that's when they're hard to spot. There's an old lace murex. We found several of those this morning. Some nice little worm shells. I like when the, it's, the tip's got a little bit of the shell left on it. Really starting to thin out now. So the one shell I haven't shown everyone, if anybody knew, was our slipper shells. A very common shell here, but I like showing that to everybody when we're out here. Flip it over, see how it looks like a little slipper, a little shoe? The slipper shell. Very smooth on the outside. Oh. Got us. Feels good to stretch the back out here. This is Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, part of the namesake of the park. Quite a few people up here fishing this morning. Beautiful morning here. There's a beautiful scallop shell. Ooh, is it windy up here? Sorry about the wind noise. Oh, the top of it's broke. Beautiful scallop, though. Missing the top. A lot of fishermen up in the pass this morning. The water is just gorgeous. Still lots of shells to be found here on the beach. I didn't get them all, believe me. The tide's still going out. There's another nice little pile. Hmm. I could spend all day here shelling we've just we haven't even covered half of the beach this morning what a morning we followed a dolphin up and down the beach this morning that was quite quite an experience this morning absolutely a blast chasing that dolphin we probably followed him for a good 20 minutes I have no idea I lost track of time running up and down the beach Another murex shell, lace murex. Might be an old apple murex, faded apple. Found several of those this morning. A lot of shark eyes. 
Here's two different scallops. So I can get them ranged in my hand here a little better. Bear with me. Two nice looking scallops. You can see the different color scallops we have. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous shells. Again, you can tell the scallops by those little wings down on the ends there. Looks like a little fan. Come around and get a little better light on it here. That's two nice little scallops. I'm gonna hold. If I hold on the shot for a little bit, sometimes the Facebook will pick it up as a thumbnail and make a nice thumbnail image for today's video. That says beach, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. The scallop shells. Hey, I see we got some new, more viewers on here. Hey, if any of you are new, we're up at the north end of Naples, Florida at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Beautiful Thursday morning. Going to have some rain later today. You can see the clouds down to the south of us. We're up at the north end of the park right now, up by Wiggins Pass. That water temperature is 74 degrees. We're looking at highs in the upper 80s today. Crazy weather for February. Unseasonably warm here. Temperatures averaging 10 degrees above normal. But look at all the fishermen up here this morning. Wow. Somebody's just bringing a fish ashore up there. It's like a pompano. They've been catching a lot of pompano out here. But look at them just all lined up along the edge of the pass this morning. Very neat. That water, look at the colors out there. Is that not beautiful? That's Barefoot Beach on the other side of the pass here. Another beautiful beach. There's over 65, 6,500, 6,200 feet of beach over there. That's a long beach walk over there. Too long for me. I don't think the Wi-Fi is any good over there either. Absolutely picture perfect out here. Look at all the fishermen. Wow. There he's just putting away his catch right there. Man, that is a big one. That was a good size one. That was nice. Pompano, huh? Pomp that was that was how big was I? That was huge. That was a huge pompano. Man, look at the size of that. That's a, boy. You got a lot of a good dinner tonight. <laughs> wow, the pompano are definitely biting out here. You can see the fishermen all lined up here. Isn't that neat? I'm gonna take a picture of this. Bear with me here for a second. The live feed's gonna stop for a minute. another look up that pass and we're gonna head down and chat with Roy see what he's got to say this morning great morning Shelly we got to see a dolphin first thing in our beach walk just about first thing early this morning followed that dolphin around for probably 20 minutes definitely got to check the beginning of this video out the replay gorgeous morning here in southwest Florida I'm up at Wiggins Pass up in North Naples Thursday morning Lots and lots and lots of fishermen out here this morning. We just looked in a few minutes ago into one of the fishermen's buckets that was full of pompano, just loaded with pompano. What an incredible, incredible Thursday morning here in North Naples. 
Stand by, I gotta snap off another photo. All right. Head back down to area four and see Roy. See if, what he's got to say to us this morning. He usually has, always has some encouraging words for us. Found a lot of great shells this morning. Already starting to cloud up here this morning. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. Go check in with Roy. I can't wait to hear what he's got for us this morning. I already saw him when I was following the dolphin around. I saw a couple of our Facebook friends here as well. It's always neat meeting people who we've never seen before, only chatted with via Facebook, it's seeing them out here at the beach. There's been a lot of folks come out to this park because of these live feeds. Pretty amazing. And I don't get paid to do this. I enjoy doing it. Could always use a little extra money to help pay the phone bill so I can continue doing it. Keep gas in the car and whatnot. You know the routine. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account info in the description at the end of this live feed. You'll see it in the video replay. You can find it in various posts also on Southwest Florida Television here on Facebook. Every little bit helps. I appreciate it. For some reason I have problems anybody over in the UK when they send euros or pounds or whatnot I have problems with PayPal I don't know for some reason it just winds up getting sent back to them but I appreciate I appreciate the gestures This is that little line of shells that we're checking out as I was walking south down the beach. Now the lights changed and it's amazing when the light changes, you see things in a whole different perspective and you'll find things that you didn't find on your walk down the beach. I mean, it's always something new. It's absolutely amazing. I found a lot of great stuff this morning. Found a lot of moon shells, shark eyes. A couple nice worm shells this morning. I think I found four, at least four shark eyes this morning. I'm reaching in my pocket, seeing if I can grab one. I found one that was really cool. Well, there's a, one of the bigger ones that I found this morning, the shark eye, also called a moon shell. the eye right there. That one had a neat pattern on it. Can't get it out of my pocket here. Got so many shells in there this morning. Found some nice murex shells. People don't spot those murex shells. They kind of blend in with the sands. There's a little apple murex. See how rough it is? When they're buried in the sand, they're really hard to spot. You gotta have a good eye to find the murex shells. You got white, the lace murex, which is white. Then you have the apple murex, which has these brown stripes on it, kind of a caramel cream color. So we've been seeing lots of worm tips, worm shells, that's a worm shell. Lots of pieces of coral on the beach. All different sizes, types. Stones out here, fossils, all kinds of neat things at Elnor Wiggins. Find a grab a turkey wing here. 
for our newcomers that haven't seen a turkey wing shell, you get a kick out of that. We'll figure out why they call it a turkey wing as soon as I hold it up. Here's some worm rot. That's always neat to look at up close, the worm rot. Cockle shells, we have cockles everywhere on the beach. You can tell them by the big ridges. This is kind of a faded cockle. Here's a darker cockle here. That's, that's the more common color we find here with the cockles. Wow, there's a really, really old lightning whelk there. It's some turning into a fossil, look at that. Wow, it's turning to stone. That is an old lightning whelk right there. That is cool. Well, let's see, I'm looking for a turkey wing or anything else that strikes my fancy here. As we walk south. Oh, here's something. Here's a nice big one. Slipper shells. Usually they're a lot smaller than this. That's a big slipper shell there. They're smooth on the outside. When you turn it over, see how it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper? The slipper shell. That's a big slipper shell there. Wow. Can you see how it looks like a slipper when you look at it? The slipper shell. Don't worry about missing any of the beach walk. I usually like to walk for about 45 minutes to an hour, but sometimes I get so wrapped up here, I wind up spending almost two hours out here. I finally got a new iPhone, so it's allowing me to save a higher quality recording of the beach walk that I can repost. Because sometimes the live feeds just aren't that great. The signals break up and the video gets weak. Whenever there's a weak connection, there is no Wi-Fi out here at the park, so I'm at the mercy of my cellular connection. But if the cellular connection gets weak for some reason, the picture gets very blurry and fuzzy. Here's an old Florida fighting conch. Boy, that's an old one there. There's a turkey wing shell right there. Any idea why they might call that a turkey wing? <laughs> Pretty gosh darn obvious, isn't it? Looks just like a turkey wing. Get a little sunlight on it. The turkey wing shell, very popular here, very common. Everybody has a couple of these in their collection. And there's a big, big cockle right there. That's a medium sized cockle for this beach. But these conch shells are just extremely, extremely common. The Florida fighting conch, and you will find them in all conditions. But here's a handful of worn out Old worn conks right here. But you will find these in all conditions. Very popular shells. Probably the most collected shell on our beach. There's another one up there. Another one down there. Very common here, the worm shells, the worm tips. I, I'm just like a little kid in a candy store here. I can't stop. There's a piece of a banded tulip. Those are beautiful shells. I'd love to find one of those and show it to you. That's a piece of a banded tulip shell, just the side of it. There's what's left of a lightning whelk, an old lightning whelk shell all these twisties.
Another piece of a whelk, lightning whelk. What a beautiful morning. I'm gonna stay like this all day. You can see this, the rain clouds down to the south. It's gonna, got a 50% chance of rain, which means it's a pretty good chance of rain today. Looks nicer when we look up to the north. sun just dipped behind some clouds now. This is the north end of the park, Area 5. This is where you want to go. If you want to come to Del Norwegans and go fishing, come up to Area 5. No fishing in areas 1, 2, 3, and 4. Real easy to get to Del Norwegans. Just get off the interstate at exit 111. Get off I-75 at exit 111, which is a Mockley Road. And head south or head west head south head west all the way to the end and the mockley road just dead ends at del norwegans Whew. really breezy there well the highlight of my morning beach walks is my little conversation that i have with our friend roy 93 year old roy World War II and Korean War veteran. God bless his soul. We want to thank all our veterans for their service. A lot of them made the ultimate sacrifice, those soldiers. God bless them and their families. Never forget the cost of freedom. The cost of freedom is blood. People in this country today are getting ridiculous with the way they're acting and disrespecting our flag and our country. They need to be put on boats and just sent out to sea. Good morning, how are you? Definitely starting to cloud up now, but we'll get down and chat with Roy, see what he has to say, see if he has a word of the day for us, you never know. Looks like he might be packing up. We better hurry up and get down there. He left early yesterday. I don't want him to get out of here before I say goodbye. We did see him earlier when I was chasing the dolphin up and down the beach. That was just amazing this morning. You've got to watch that. Yeah, some people might find it boring. I was just running up and down the beach following a dolphin that was just offshore. That happens a lot here. This time of year, there's a good chance you'll see a mama and the baby dolphin out here. Got dolphins all over Southwest Florida. They love playing in the wakes of boats. It's well worth taking a dolphin tour, a dolphin excursion on one of these tour tour boats here in Southwest Florida. It is so neat. Even jet ski, a jet ski dolphin tour is just incredible. Fort Myers Beach, they got some great jet ski dolphin tours a little ways north of Naples, but definitely well worth the trip. Something else that's fun is a parasail ride here. That's different, a parasail ride along the shore. They do those along the beach of Naples in several different locations. Roy's just getting his chair set up. Huh, I thought he was packing it up. He's just getting it set up. There's a big conch shell down here. An old conch. 
Everybody snapped up all the good conchs this morning, the pretty conch shells. Something when you're out at our beach is shelling. Remember, never take anything home that's got a live animal inside or don't take any live animals from the beach, which includes sand dollars and sea stars. We got a lot of sea, sea stars here and sand dollars. Always look inside a shell before you take it home. Make sure there's nothing in there. Just because it looks old, there could be something calling that home. It could be a hermit crab inside one of these old shells. Heck, one day, Roy and I, we found an octopus inside of an old conch shell up on the beach. A little baby octopus inside the shell. It stung the crud, it stung the crud out of Roy. <laughs> it bit his hand. So take a good look in the, inside these shells before you take them home. We're up at the north, north end of Area 4 right now, walking south at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Just getting ready to say hi to Roy, touch base with Roy before I head out for the day do my thing hey, you got to check out Everglades Wonder Gardens folks they're making a comeback here they got devastated by Hurricane Irma Everglades Wonder Gardens so they can use all the financial support you can give them something really neat you can do up there now mm -hmm. is you can hand feed the flamingos and that is really fun that's something new since Hurricane Irma all the trees have blown over and a lot of the fences. So now the, the flamingos are just out in the open around their little flamingo pond and you can go ahead and feed them. So you got to do that. Check it out. Well, here's Roy. Doom, doom. Hey, Roy. Here Good he morning. is. Good morning. Good morning. Did you see that dolphin again? I didn't. He never. I didn't see him come back. Did he come back? No, I didn't see him at all. I wish I saw the mama and the baby. They said they were down the south end this morning. Yeah, I didn't see him. I had a good run. I started down there. I went up there. I followed him all the way down. Wow. Way past where Bill sits, and then huh. all the way back up this morning. How about that? Yeah. Huh. A good 20 minutes at least chasing them down yeah, the beach. That's really up something. And down. I love seeing the dolphins. Yeah, me too. That's boy. good luck. You know that. They're beautiful. If we see beach. the dolphins, we're going to have good luck. It's good really? luck. Stuff. Yep. That and rainbows, huh? Yep. Had a rainbow the other morning, a little piece of one. Yeah. You know, it's going to rain today. Well, it looks kind of goofy like yeah. overcast and the sun for, comes out. 50% chance of rain today. Oh, really? Yep. Huh. Well, hey, I heard uh, from Stella yesterday. Ah. The Barb isn't going to be here anymore. She's yeah, moving she's away. moving up north. I think Minnesota or something. Yeah, well, that's where she lives. She got a house up there, and I guess she got family up there. Yeah. So she, well, she didn't tell me. I'm kind of I'm disappointed that I didn't hear. When's she going? Did she tell you? Oh, I don't know. Another few weeks or something, really? I guess. So she's not going to be out here with her shells? I don't think so. That's too bad. Boy, we're going to miss her. Yeah, she was an institution on Monday morning. Got to try to get her to see her before she leaves. Uh-huh. Maybe I can teach her how to do a live feed on Facebook once in a while. Yeah, that was you were out at their birthday party, weren't no, you? No, I didn't make that. Oh, you that, did. That I was saw really you fun. shimmying up out oh, there. Yeah, <laughs> they had a oompa band and we danced and I had a good, had a good yeah. time. Uh, another, I heard... Um, Jennifer Ann said there was a party coming up here, a luau. Oh or something. yeah, yeah. They got to, it's a Hawaiian uh, dinner dance this Saturday night. Oh, this Saturday. And the association, uh, Naples Park Association, puts it on. So you it's invited at the Jennifer? clubhouse there. Did you invite Jennifer? Yeah, to, yeah. Have, she she's gonna come up there. Yeah, she and I are going to the dance together, dinner dance. Oh, well, that's good. You know, she's stopped drinking soda. She's probably going on well over a month of not drinking soda. Now, uh, who is Jenny? Jennifer Ann. Oh, she drank soda? I don't yeah. know. She just drinks water when she's with me. Well, she used to drink soda like it was going out of style. Really? Yeah, and she's, so far she's doing good. And, you know, Patty Knight, she quit smoking. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, she's doing really good ah, on that. Ah, ah. Well, everybody needs good. to keep, in, everybody keeps giving them encouragement here on Facebook. So right. Giving them, Patty's probably coming up on 
close to two months of not yeah, smoking. Yeah, good, good. That's huh? wonderful. She had a lot of surgery. I hope she's okay. Yeah, smoking. I haven't is seen not her in a while. Thing. Now, she's she's on here commenting. She's around. I think she's busy this time yeah. of year. Well, I think it was when I see her a few days or so ago, maybe a week. She you know, was she was down here on the yeah. beach. You know who I miss is Astrid. Do you ever see Astrid anymore? Does she ever come out and see you? Let's see, Astrid. Yeah, yeah, she was here. Blonde hair, German. Yeah. Her and her daughter would come out a lot of times, her young daughter. That's right, yeah. She I used to come know. out all the time. But I haven't seen her at all lately. Ask her, I miss her. I know she's around. I see her on Facebook, but yeah. I miss seeing her out here at the beach. Great yeah. lady. Yeah, well, it's wonderful down here. A lot of great beach friends, that's for sure. Yeah. Somebody hooked something on my bag this morning. I don't know who it Somebody was. Put something on your Somebody chair? left me a bottle of L lysine or something. What is that? I don't know. It's supposed to be good for you, I guess. Somebody left you a present? Oh, Some... here, here's a little note in here. Good. I didn't see oh, that. I who see dropped who... this off for you? I couldn't quite get it off of here. What did they give you this morning? Yeah, here's a notation. Roy. I take two or three at a time, a times, a couple times a day, one or two days. Elsie. Oh, Elsie dropped it off for you. Oh, Elsie, yeah, she yeah. noticed I had something on my lower lip. Yeah, and you guys said, saw that sore there. Yeah, she said that she takes these when she gets there. Oh, yeah. Lysine. I don't know. It's I well, thank you, Elsie. At a time, a couple times a day. That was nice of her. Yeah, wasn't that sweet of her? She said she was gonna call and tell me what it was she took. Well, she saw she, this on my lip. This yeah, goofy thing. That's not, I saw that too. I didn't know if it was from the sun or what. Well, she said that she gets them, and uh, apparently it? it's in your body, well, uh, and and uh, the sun kind of augments it and brings well, it I out. If it's like a herpes thing. Yeah, something herpes, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that used to come from kissing a bad girl. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, apparently it, virus. Uh, I, I put on a lot of sunscreen, but yeah. even so, I must get sun. Yeah, on I there. noticed that the other day. Yeah, it kind of. Now take hurts. care of yourself. It doesn't night. hurt to try it. Yeah. Take all those vitamins. What's a couple more pills? Hell, I see. I don't know why it. It says here that just. Uh, Support synthesis of proteins. I don't know why that should take care of your lips, but that's what she said. I think I thought I took L lysine, but I'll have to check. It's kind of a yeah. typical drug, I think. Over the counter. Right. Wasn't that sweet of her? Yep, we got a lot of great beach friends out here yeah, looking she, after us. She's sure nice. Elsie, my gosh. Well, I got to get running along. I was hoping to uh, hear something encouraging from you this morning before we get out of here. Well, the word of the day is interstices. Interstices? Yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Here are trees, and there are trees, and in between, interstices. That's the word of the day. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's, that wasn't it's, very inspirational. It's, prof it's profound. <laughs> you you got to think about it for a while. Oh, you never know what we're going to hear. What's going to come out of your mouth? Well, morning. we live in the interstices. In the in-between? Yeah, that's important. <laughs> I mean, without interstices, where would where would we be? Well, we'd be over there. Oh, yeah. We're over there. <laughs> uh, you got to be in, in, in the interstices. So it's, okay. it's, it's critical. It is. It's very important. So just remember, here are trees and there are trees, and in between interstices. <laughs> yeah. well, well, you always wanted profound. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty that, profound. Uh, I thought so, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to help a lot of people throughout their day today. Yeah, isn't it, though? <laughs> just thinking how important that is. Yeah, interstices. <laughs> it's the word of the day. A lot of people got a kick out of that little story or whatever the other day, the 80s, being 80. <laughs> oh, yeah, wasn't that, that something? That was funny, yeah. Oh, jeez. One of our geez. friends took the time to type out all the words and put it on Facebook for us oh, so we man. could read it. That was funny. That was goofy. Yeah. 
when you're when you're 70 you 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 buy you're you're supposed to buy a home and retire to Florida and <laughs> complain about your arthritis. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh Lord. <laughs> when you're 80, everybody forgives you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're 80. <laughs> Can't remember how many grandchildren you have. Can't remember your phone number. <laughs> Heck, I don't think you have to be 80 to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, we're to 90. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to get moseying. I'll have to write another one yeah. of those when you get to be 90. There life, you go. Life begins at 90. Life does. It starts all over again. Yeah. You become a kid again. Oh, <laughs> well, you have a lot of fun in life. That's hey, how you, how'd you do today on hugs? Oh, I'm doing really well on hugs. It's a good hug. Good hug day, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, the old sun's burning through. Yeah, old Bill will be along. We'll take our plunge. It's peeking in and out of the clouds here. Yeah. Oh. Well, wasn't this sweet of Elsie? Yeah, that was my nice. Guy. Thank you, Elsie. Roy appreciates that. Yeah, I'll take care of my bad lip. Yep. All right, Roy. Well, you have a wonderful day today. Always good seeing you. Nice seeing you, Rob. Maybe a dolphin will swim by and take you for a ride this morning. Yeah, I like that. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, grab a hold and take off. Oh, <laughs> I'll boy. go down the beach on the back of a dolphin. <laughs> All right, I'll buddy. Yep. Tally ho. God bless. Our good friend Roy on this beautiful Thursday morning. I'll be sure to check out the replay of this morning's video. Spent the first 20 minutes running up and down the beach following a dolphin that was swimming just offshore. Gorgeous morning, although it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos here. I know you're gonna find something you like. When you do, hit the like button. Even more importantly, hit the share button. Share with your friends. We're getting really close to 20,000 followers here at Southwest Florida Television. Let's see if we can, can exceed that number today. Make sure you hit the like button. Look at that, beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Remember, I don't get paid to come out here and do this. I love doing it. I do spend a lot of time out here. If you like what you see and you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info here in the description of this post a little later. Be sure and check back. I'll post a higher quality video copy of this beach walk later today. Have a great day, wherever you're watching from. We got people watching from all over the world and keep those comments coming. I love the interaction between all of our friends here on Facebook. That's what this is all about. A little beach community right here on Facebook. Again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.